D.K. Metcalf was not actually named D.K. at birth. His actual name is DeKalen, hence D.K. DeKalen Zacharias Metcalf was born in December 1977 to Tanya and Terrence Metcalf. Born and raised in Oxford, Mississippi, alongside his four siblings, DK always had football in him, frankly speaking. And in him, we mean in his blood. His father, Terrence, was an NFL player getting drafted in the third round of the 2002 draft by the Chicago Bears. There he spent seven seasons playing as a guard. Terrence played college ball for the University of Mississippi, or Ole Miss, and was recognized as a consensus All-American. He actually played when Eli Manning was there. Later on, he would become the coach of Pearl River Community College in Mississippi. Having a father who not only played at the highest level, but also became a coach, must be part of the secret recipe somewhere for cooking up an offensive beast. Why else would DK be squatting and benching double and triple figure pounds or slamming opponents to the ground as a 10th grader? Hold up, wait a minute. Both of them sound just insane, so let's take a look at something even wilder, hitting the gym at five. Believe it or not, DK was really squatting 100 pounds and benching 50 at age five. He once told ESPN about this experience as a child, saying the following, Probably every day when my father returns home from practice, I was simply a kid looking for something to do. And I was glad to see my dad after practice. That's simply something we did together. Happy to see your dad? Well, let's play catch or something like other five-year-olds. Not DK, though. There was also the cheat code of having already established NFL players like former Bears safety Bobby Gray working with him as early as second grade. But hey, that's the perk of having an NFL dad. So it was no surprise that he was already miles ahead in strength compared to his high school peers. DK attended Oxford High School in his hometown when his father discovered he had a monster on his hands. Terrence once described how he was at one of DK's football games in the 10th grade and he saw his son destroy the opposing DB, taking him completely off the field and slamming him into the track. Terrence added it was between the whistles and I saw him just do that, turn around and jog back. But his blocks in that game and from that moment on were always elbows in, hands inside. He tried to finish guys like he was an offensive lineman. As time went on, he simply outran and outworked me. As much as I pushed him, it came to the point where he was competing against me to show me that I would never be able to run faster or longer than him again. I saw that shift and how hard he began to work. He makes it sound so basic. Sure enough, this attitude paid off as he finished with an impressive high school record of 224 receptions and over 3,300 yards and 49 touchdowns. By the time he graduated high school, he was regarded as a four-star prospect and was ranked the number 14 wide receiver prospect by Rivals.com. DK committed to play for his father's alma mater at Old Miss. After the 2018 season, DK declared for the 2019 draft, foregoing his last two years of college eligibility. As a result, he was unable to complete his degree in hospitality management, despite being a top student in high school with a GPA of at least 3.5. He was selected in the second round as the 64th overall pick by the Seattle Seahawks. Everybody could tell from day one that he was a special player since he was a rookie. He finished the season with 900 receiving yards, the third highest in receptions for all rookies with 58 and seven receiving touchdowns. Metcalf topped that season by breaking the NFL record to become the rookie with the most receiving yards in a playoff game with 160 in a game against the Philadelphia Eagles. And he was also ranked 81st on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2020. The next season was even better as he finished 22nd out of the top 100, finishing the season with 1,303 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns, setting a Seahawks franchise record for most yards in a season and being named as a second team All-Pro. You must have seen this famous meme, right? Well, it's from a game in Metcalf's 2020 season against the Arizona Cardinals, where he reached a top speed of 22.64 miles per hour in a chase down. Did someone call the flash? His 2021 season was also impressive despite the Seahawks narrowly missing out on the playoffs. 
DK finished that season just 33 yards shy of 1,000 receiving yards and recorded a total of 75 receptions and a career-high 12 touchdowns. Now, if two things are certain, one is that DK is one hell of a baller. The other is this, our boy is getting paid. And by getting paid, we're not talking about his rookie contract signed after the draft worth $4.5 million over four years with $1.7 million guaranteed. Not that it's not a lot of money, but one would look at the numbers from his latest contract signed in July 2022, and you'll understand what we mean. That contract extension in question is a three-year, $72 million extension deal with $58 million guaranteed and a $30 million signing bonus. That's a lot, but DK's income keeps coming in. How? Well, being a stud receiver with unlimited potential, many companies are lining up to sign him to lucrative endorsement and sponsorship deals. Companies like Gatorade, Volcanica Coffee, Nestle Nesquik, Under Armour, and Hulu. DK is surprisingly very private with his off-field activities and quite modest in his spending, some would say. He does look a good piece of jewelry, though, as he iced out his teeth with diamond stones and also got himself a custom diamond chain, estimated to be worth at least $60,000. The iconic necklace is all bling and in the shape of the Nintendo character Donkey Kong, known for its power, strength, and unstoppable force, much like Metcalf. Having repeatedly refused to be known by nicknames like Wolverine, Megatron, the Mandalorian, and Decaf Metcalf. It seems he's finally gotten a nickname he'll let stick. Speaking of his private life, everyone wants to know who the woman in his life is. He's rumored to be in a relationship with beautiful social media model Serena Wilson. Serena is an absolutely stunning model with insane curves, which she loves to display on her Instagram account. Although she is currently enrolled at Central Washington University, her massive social media following also classifies her as an influencer. Neither of them has confirmed being together, although they would make a social media power couple. That said, Serena has been spotted joining DK at some of his games. And both have taken to social media to post pictures of themselves together from time to time. And if that's not enough reason for you to speculate, what about her mentioning missing DK on her Instagram story before quickly deleting the post? Neither of them has denied any comments made about the relationship, so it's almost a sure bet they are together. DK not only spends his money on diamond jewelry, but he also shows his generous side through charity and donations, giving thousands of dollars to causes from pandemic relief to helping school children in poorer regions of the world. He's also working with Prison Fellowship Works to restore America's criminal justice system and better the lives of inmates. If you enjoyed this video about DK Metcalf's lifestyle, check out the next video and we'll see you there.